Good morning. Good morning. I got bedhead this morning. Well, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Uh, I'm having iced tea this morning. I've already had some coffee. Was up really early this morning. We got some uh, thunderstorms coming through, and there was a lot of lightning and stuff going on this morning. And looks like we're about to get some more. So that sounds like fun. So hopefully the power will stay on. So, anyway, it's Saturday morning. It is August the 1st. Isn't that something? Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're all doing well, staying safe, and all that good stuff. Uh, let's get to the reading this morning. Um, the psalmody this morning is Psalm 70. Um, so, as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire my hurt. Let them turn back because of their shame who say, Aha, aha. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. <clears throat> oh, thunder. It's that, that low, rumbling, rolling thunder that we're getting out here this morning. Oh, well, it just means I'll have to mow my yard. All right, the Old Testament lesson this morning. We're back in 1 Samuel. We're going to go 1 Samuel, 17, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17, 1 through 19. Now, the Philistines gathered their armies for battle, and they were gathered at Soko, which, be, which, be, which belongs to Judah, and encamped between Soko and Ezekiah. The in let me see if I can pronounce this. Ephes Damim. Ephes Damim. We'll say it that way. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered and encamped in the valley of Elah and drew up in a line of battle against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on the mountain on one side and Israel on the mountain on the other side with the valley between them. And there came out of the camp of the Philistines a champion named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. He had a helmet of bronze on his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of bronze. And he had bronze armor on his legs, and a javelin of bronze slung between his shoulders. The shaft of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spearhead weighed six hundred shekels of iron, and his shield-bearer went before him. He stood and shouted to the ranks of, the, of Israel, Why have you come out to draw up for battle? Am I not a Philistine, and are you not servants of Saul? Choose a man for yourselves, and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and serve us. And the Philistines said, I defy the ranks of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. <clears throat> now David was the son of an Ephrathite of Bethlehem and Judah named Jesse, who had eight sons. In the days of Saul, the man was already old and advanced in years. The three oldest sons of Jesse had followed Saul to, to the battle, and the names of these three sons who went into battle were Eliab, the firstborn, and next to him Abinadab, and the third Shammah. David was the youngest. The three eldest followed Saul, but David went back and forth from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. For forty days the Philistines came forward and, and took his stand, morning and evening, 
And Jesse said to David his son, Take for your brothers an ephah of this parched grain and these ten loaves, and carry them quickly to the camp of your brothers. Also, take these ten cheeses to the commander of their thousand. See if your brothers are well, and bring some token from them. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Eli, fighting with the Philistines. Very interesting. That's a great story. I'm really enjoying reading this. Um, let's see the New Testament lesson this morning. We're in Acts chapter 26. We're going to go verses 1 through 23. Let me get a little T here. So, here we go. So Agrippa said to Paul, You have permission to speak for yourself. Then Paul stretched out his hand and made his defense. I consider myself fortunate that it is before you, King Agrippa, that I am going to make my defense today against all accusations of the Jews, especially because you are familiar with all the customs and controversies of the Jews. Therefore, I beg you to listen to me patiently. My manner of life from my youth, spent from the beginning among my own nation and in Jerusalem, is known by all the Jews. They have known for a long time, if they are willing to testify, that according to the strictest party of our religion, I have lived as a Pharisee. And now I stand here on trial because of my hope in the promise made by God to our fathers, to which our twelve tribes hope to attain, as they earnestly worship night and day. And for this hope I am accused by Jews, O king. Why is it, why is it thought indescribable by any of you that God raises the dead? I myself was convinced that I ought to do many things in opposing the name of Jesus of Nazareth, and I did so in Jerusalem. I not only locked up many of the saints in prison after receiving authority from the chief priest, but when they were put to death, I cast my vote against them, and I punished them often in the synagogues and tried to make them blaspheme, and in a raging fury against them I persecuted them even to the foreign cities. In this connection, I journeyed to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priest. At midday, O king, I saw on the way a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, that shone around me and those who journeyed with me. And when we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice saying to me in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It is hard for you to kick against the goads. And I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, who you, whom you are persecuting. But rise and stand upon your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you as a servant and witness to the things in which you have seen, seen me and to those in which I will appear to you, delivering you from your people and from the Gentiles, to whom I am sending you to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Therefore, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision, but declared first to those in Damascus, then in Jerusalem, and throughout all the region of Judea, and also to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to God, performing deeds in keeping with their repentance. For this reason the Jews seized me in the temple and tried to kill me. To this day I have had the help that comes from God, and so I stand here testifying both to small and great saying nothing but what the prophets and Moses said would come to pass, that the Christ must suffer, and that, by being the, being the first to rise from the dead, he will proclaim light both to our people and to the Gentiles. And this is the word of the Lord. That's good stuff. Let's do the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Gracious Lord of all, you turn the Apostle Paul from a persecutor of the church to the Apostle to the Gentiles. By your holy word, turn our hearts from darkness to light, 
from the power of Satan to God, that we might receive the forgiveness of our sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And that's good stuff. So anyway, hope you all stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And hope you're staying dry. Because uh, we're about to get a good downpour here. It's sprinkling a little bit. But uh, still have a lot of the rolling thunder. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. God bless. Bye-bye.